Kia ora, uh, my name is Jeremy. I'm a third year stage and screen student studying at Te Oaha, uh, Institute of Creativity. Um, this is also coincidentally my third year making solo works. A bit about me, I'm all about comedy. I like to do, um, yeah, physical comedy, uh, character comedy, anything that's just makes people laugh, we all have a good time, good to go. Last year, I was lucky enough to be a, a part of the student showcase uh, in the Tahi Festival. Um, that was heaps of fun, it gave me heaps of inspiration seeing a whole bunch of other solo work and gave me a reason to get started on uh, some solo work of my own. Um, so for me, solo work always kind of begins with an outside influence, I get really sort of caught up on things, get really hooked on things. And so when I find something that really captures my attention, I can't help but go like, oh man, that is so interesting. I just want to dive into that. Um, whether it's like a prop or a costume, or I just, I find a character of some sort. I, I just get really hooked on it and I feel like I have to start playing with it. I always end up uh, combining it with some, some other sort of like genre or like bigger topic that I'm also really interested in. Um, so that could be like a, a swan drive um, with masculinity kind of thing or um, a farmer that's a super absurdist or something along those lines. In terms of uh, my rehearsal process and my experimenting process, I always start with a brainstorm. I start out with the, the idea that I'm really interested in and then I start like listing all the things that are interesting about it to me, way, ways of which that I could use that, anything that um, really gets me going basically. Um, and then once, I, once I've got like a good list, I start impro improvising around that list um, and yeah, basically see what comes out of that. I always, I always make sure to uh, record my improvs, see what they look like. Be like, oh wow, that's working, that's definitely not working that's kind of working, maybe I can build on that, um, that sort of thing, and then start to refine. Um, in terms of what's in my room, um, I love to play around with props and costume. They are a constant source of inspiration for me, and I, I really enjoy chucking something in there that wouldn't normally be there. Um, and I love the games that they sort of bring inherently. I also, um, despite being a solo artist, I really, uh, prefer working with someone else in the room all the time so having someone else there is great for me because it's someone to bounce ideas off, someone to interact with when I'm improvising, someone just there for whatever I need them for basically. Um, in terms of challenges creating solo work, uh, I get massively blocked all the time, that's one of the reasons why I like having someone else there. Um, it, their ideas will often spark something else in me that I can then go, oh yeah that's cool, let's run with that. Um, you know, there's heaps of self-doubt always with solo work being like, oh man, is this just only good to me? Is no one else going to find this fun? Uh, in terms of documenting my work, I will pretty much always take notes. I, I do a lot of taking notes of beats. So like, oh, I did that thing, then that thing happens, then that thing happens, then that thing happens. And that kind of gives me a rough structure without like, sort of making me worry too much about like remembering lines or like getting an exact action right and it gives me plenty of room to play around with, uh, play around with the material. Eventually once I've got that series of beats quite set in stone, you know, like at the end of the process then I'll turn it into something in the script so that the execs or whoever's working um, on it with me knows what the hell is going on. <laughs> Who I wish was in my artistic bubble. Uh, I mean, it's my dream to work with uh, the greats like Jermaine Clement, uh, Taika Waititi, um, even Reese Darby, Johnny Bruff. Like, they're all just such, they were so good at making sketch comedy and comedy in general um, when they were younger and they've, they've all transitioned into like these incredible careers afterwards. And I, they just have so much knowledge um, and skill and I, they just seem like such great people to hang around with so I'd love to be able to work with them one day. Yeah, that's me. Ha <laughs> ha.